Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome. Tonight is an evening of special joy and pride for you and for our community as we celebrate this 153rd commencement of Canadian High School. Commencement is a significant and solemn event. We ask that you silence all cell phones. To respect the solemnity of this event and in order to ensure that the ceremony is meaningful for all in attendance, please avoid unnecessary conversation and movement throughout the ceremony. Please refrain from yelling, whistling, or shouting inside the auditorium. This is a dignified event, and we ask for respect and cooperation throughout the event. So that all may have a better view, I ask that you remain seated as the graduates and faculty process down the aisles. The academic procession this evening is led by Ms. Andrea Turpek Andres. Ms. Turpek Andres carries in procession the school mace, a symbol of the school's authority and education. Processing with the graduates are the heads of house, Mr. Paul Colombo, Rupe House, Mrs. Julie Hogan, Campion House, Mr. Dennis Gonzaga House, Mr. Steve Wanton, Jokes House, Father Charles Frederico, Loyola House, and Mr. J. Jasper, Xavier House. Within their ranks, we present our graduating class. So let us begin.
Please remain standing for the opening prayer and national anthem. The opening prayer for this evening's commencement will be given by Father Charles Frederico. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Loving God, we gather to honor and celebrate these graduating seniors of Canisius High School amidst these past four years. You have endowed these, your sons, with growth in so many ways of mind, body, and spirit. As freshmen, they had no conception of all that awaited them beyond the blue doors. Now, as seniors on the precipice of graduation, we pray they cherish what that first entry embodies, the life of learning and friendship you have nurtured and a life more rooted in you. As they prepare to journey yet again into your world and do the work to which you invite them to, help them to recall the many gifts you have bestowed upon them in this place. Help them to exemplify the lessons they have learned and sustain the relationships of the community you have fostered. Help them to celebrate and live the revelations of your love in the depths of their hearts. We remember these gifts, O oh Lord, and we ask your blessings upon our celebration this evening. Amen. St. Peter Canisius, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Please remain standing for our national anthem. Please be seated. <clears throat> Mr. Rieger, Father Sansomino, Mr. Coppola, distinguished guests, members of the administration, and parents of the graduates. Graduates of the class of 2023, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to welcome you to the 153rd commencement of Canisius High School. Tonight, we are proud to recognize the class of 2023. Before we confer diplomas to graduates this evening, it is our tradition to present awards for special achievement. Our principal, Mr. Coppola, will present the Benny Morenti Award for Faculty Achievement. The Benny Morenti Award is presented to members of the faculty, staff, and administration at Jesuit schools in recognition of 20 years of teaching, serving, and leading. This year, there are two recipients of this award. Mr. Sam Belsito has been a leader of our physical education and athletic department for 20 years. Over the years, Mr. Belsito has led our soccer and hockey programs and even spent a year coaching tennis. 
His teams, his, his teams have embodied his spirit. They are tough, hardworking, and selfless. A colleague said, Sam is always willing to step up and help, whether that is on campus, at Cradle Beach, or even helping a colleague with a home improvement project. Countless crusaders and crusaders to come will be coached by Mr. Belsito. They will learn so much more than the X's and O's. They will learn from his example on their journey to becoming good men. The ultimate role of a teacher and coach is what Sam strives to do each day. Please join me in recognizing a true man for others, Sam Belsito. Please come forward to receive your award. For the past 20 years, Mr. Sam Rizzo, or as he is more affectionately known, the Colonel, has inspired hundreds of students to fall in love with history, and especially Civil War history, through his passion teaching APUS, leading his troops on his Gettysburg trip, and moderating the American Civil War Club. He has a unique ability to infuse history and humor into his classes. A colleague affectionately said, students talk about Mr. Rizzo's bad dad jokes, but what they forever will know is his passion for history. It exudes from every pore and it is contagious. His Gettysburg trip is the epitome of that passion and alums often say it is the highlight of their four years at Canisius. Another colleague remarked, his students consistently learn to love history. He is a fantastic colleague and friend and is with, without a doubt one of the most organized teachers you will ever meet. He truly exemplifies our mission to pursue excellence in all things. Please join me in recognizing our History Department Chairperson, Mr. Sam Rizzo. Please come forward to receive your award. Our assistant principal, Mrs. Whittington, will now present the awards for academic honors. It is with pleasure and pride that we honor those members of the class of 2023 who have attained a superior academic record at Canisius High School. They have distinguished themselves by their high class standing. To acknowledge the consistent hard work, dedication, and perseverance such performance requires, special certificates are awarded to outstanding graduates in recognition of overall excellence based on their four-year cumulative averages. As I call your name, please come forward to receive your award. Placing 10th in the class with a four-year cumulative average of 96.79, Adam Walter Trubish. <clears throat> Placing 9th in the class with a four-year cumulative average of 97.13, Evan David Isaac.
placing eighth in the class with a four-year cumulative average of 97.17, Ashton Aran Joseph. <laughs> placing seventh in the class with a four-year cumulative average of 97.31, Landon Robert Freed. placing sixth in the class with a four-year cumulative average of 98.06, Patrick Daniel Natina. <laughs> the fourth highest academic standing is an honor shared by two students with a four-year cumulative average of 98.37, Nathan Christopher Masha. <laughs> with a four-year cumulative average of 98.37, Vincenzo J. Sircone. Through the kindness of the Hogan Camp family and their friends, a permanent fund has been established to provide academic awards at graduation each year in memory of Thomas W. Hogan Camp, who was a member of the class of 1983. In addition to receiving a special plaque, students with the three highest cumulative averages receive a monetary award. Placing third in the class, with a four-year cumulative average of 98.6, Michael James Schmay. <laughs> Placing second in the class with a four-year cumulative average of 98.9, Dylan Andrew Hayworth. receiving the Thomas W. Hogan Camp Award for highest academic standing at the culmination of four years of study at Canisius High School with an average of 99.56, William Hyunsa O. Oh. I now invite our principal, Mr. Coppola, to present the graduation awards. The Philippe B. Piedad Accolade Award was instituted as a permanent part of the graduation exercises in memory of Philip Felipe Piedad, a member of the class of 1993. It honors a student who demonstrates the admirable characteristics that Phil possessed and shared with us at Canisius. Chosen by a vote of the administration, faculty, and staff, we honor a graduating senior whose quiet inner strength exemplifies the essence of the Canisius spirit through academics, athletics, and service. This year's Philippe B. Piedad Accolade Award is presented to Evan Isaac. The Midshipman First Class Jeffrey R. Korn Memorial Award was established in 1983 
by the members of the Korn family and their friends. It is presented annually to a graduating senior who best exemplifies the characteristics with, with which Jeff Korn represented. Outstanding moral character, leadership, and sportsmanship. The winner is chosen by a vote of the administration, faculty, and staff. The recipient of this year's award is Shane Sircone. The Jesuit Schools Network Award was established in 1985 by the Jesuit Secondary Education Association, a national organization now representing 90 Jesuit schools in the United States and Canada. We present this award annually to two members of the graduating class. These specifically selected seniors best exemplify the Ignatian ideal of a well-rounded person who is intellectually competent, open to growth, religious, loving, and committed to doing justice in generous service to the people of God, a true man for others. The 2023 Jesuit Schools Network awardees are Daniel Pizer and Daniel Welsh. The Mr. Canisius Award is presented annually to the graduating senior who, in the estimation of his peers, epitomizes all that Canisius stands for. Typically, he is a student who has used his mind, heart, spirit, and strength to an exceptional degree in service to others and love for God. The winner of this year's award also has the privilege of offering remarks in honor of the class of 2023. I proudly present to you Mr. Canisius 2023 Daniel Natina. <laughs> Patrick, my apologies. Patrick Daniel Natina. Just move the mic down. Good evening. It is my honor and privilege to stand before you. I'd like to first thank my parents who have sacrificed so much for me. And likewise, my three brothers, Tim, Christian, and Matthew, who have each paved the way for me here at Canisius. Last year on an immersion trip, I was in the chapel of a, of a remote Mexican town called Tierra Generosa, or Generous Land. I sat on an old wooden bench, the warm sun shining on my face, while I listened to a man sing Spanish hymns. I take Latin, however, so the only word I recognized was Jesus but it was the passion of the song that was evident. Music has the capacity to elicit emotion, transcending language. And as I listened, staring at the small altar, I began to pray. I thanked God for everything he has given me. I thanked him for my family, my parents, and my brothers. And I realized that Canisius had become a family to me too. And in that moment, I found myself in one of the most peaceful states of mind 
I've ever experienced. Of course, not long after, I found myself in urgent care with Salmonella, but that's another story. I got better, but I think I'm good on beans for a lifetime. I often think about that moment in Mexico where I realized that Canisius is a family. Like family, we have been through the highs and lows together. We began our time adjusting to the uncertainty of high school. Of course, COVID made this uncertainty more uncertain. And like family, we stuck together. Like family, we cheered each other on, whether it be sharing the joy of volleyball's 23rd championship in a row, or the heartbreak of the soccer team falling just short three times in a row. But like family, we were always proud of each other, no matter the outcome. Like family, we've shared deep conversations. We've brought each other to tears and laughter. And like family, we were always there for each other. And I am so proud to be a part of a class like this. Thank you guys for everything we've done together. Because just as I love my own family, I love you. As I reflect upon my own family, I recall my brother Tim graduating in 2019, right here. It was then when I first sat in this odd, where I watched my brother walk across the stage. I remember thinking it was the coolest thing I'd ever seen. I was so proud of him, because I've always looked up to my brothers. But of course, they'll have to understand that this speech significantly increases my chances at winning the favorite son. <laughs> but seriously, as I sat there watching Tim graduate, I told myself that I would work as hard as I could to make these four years as memorable as possible. By the time I graduated, I wanted to be able to walk across that stage knowing that I made that little kid who stand right back there, proud. Proud of the man he'd be in four years. But making our younger selves proud takes work. It isn't always smooth. And the rough mo moments forge who we become. Sometimes, they're a prelude to opportunity. I can think of one such moment. Junior year, we had an historic soccer season going undefeated while shutting out every team in our league. That ended with a loss in the championship. I was feeling down in the days following the loss, and that's when I was asked to go on Kairos. And so, in wanting to make my younger self proud, I said yes. That was my first retreat, and I felt God's presence in a very real way. That led me to more retreat experiences, both as a participant and leader. Each has deepened my relationship with myself, my friends, my family, and God. There were no distractions. We were all just living in God's world together, learning about each other's personal lives, our joys, and our struggles. From the deep talks on Kairos, to listening to the ukulele by the Wilderness Retreat's campfire. I am so thankful for these moments we've spent together, you know, as a family. I began senior year at Cradle Beach, getting ready to lead the freshman retreat the day before the start of school. At 1 a.m., I went outside with my core group of friends, and we sat on a bench by Lake Erie just listening to the waves together as we mentally prepared for the year we would share ahead. A few weeks ago, this same group participated in the silent retreat. And just as we started our year, at 1 a.m., we went back outside and sat on a different bench, listening to the waves of a different lake one last time together as we ended our last full week of school. 
And it was in these moments where I realized that I was in fact making my younger self proud. And so when we head off to college or start new jobs or get married or become fathers or even retire someday long from now, I want each of us to look back and remember this moment right here in this odd. And I want us to do everything in our power to make the boys we once were, the ones sitting here tonight full of hopes and aspirations, proud of the men we will have become, and grateful for those who have helped us do so. Grateful to our family, our whole family, our parents, our teachers, and our coaches, the staff, administration, cafeteria workers, and security guards. To everyone, know that you have our gratitude for inspiring and guiding us into the future. And finally, to my brothers of the class of 2023, thank you for the amazing memories we have created together in this Tierra Hena Rosa, this generous land. Congratulations. I love you, boys. It is with great pride that we now present the candidates for the Canisius High School Diploma. I invite Mrs. Whittington to announce the members of the class of 2023. May I present to you Mr. Rieger, Father Ciancimino, and Mr. Coppola, the members of the class of 2023. I attest that each member of the class of 2023 receiving a diploma today has successfully completed the course of studies registered by the Regents of the University of the State of New York and has fulfilled all requirements set forth by the Board of Trustees of Canisius High School. I ask the audience to please hold your applause until all diplomas have been awarded. From Arupe House. Rico Dion Brown II. Ryan Douglas Brown. Landon Robert Freed. John Daniel Hannon. Dylan Andrew Hayworth. Christopher Antonio Huddy. Sebastian Jarosh. Donald Frederick Lafaso. Nathan Christopher Masha. Michael Antonio Massiello. Angelo Jerry Pepis. Daniel Bardo Pizer. Ethan Jill Palat. Luke Christopher Polinski. 
Griffin James Reagan. Pearson Joseph Rada. Thomas Peter Sauer. Adam Johann Whitman. Elliot Jacob Worst. From Campion House, Santino Angel Burgos. Daniel Buenge. Brendan Vaughn Carroll. Vincenzo J. Circone. Jack Robert Cosgrove. Michael Doctor. Brendan Connolly Johnson. Zachary T. Jones. Brady Michael Karras. Kevin Dwayne Nelson. Nathan Andrew Rokidka. John Charles Scalisi. Nicholas James Ignatius Skandura. Marco Thomas Sindoni. Adam Walter Trubish. Thomas Elliot Webb. Daniel Welsh. Sean Shea Whistler. Kendall Simon Wood. Dang Yak Yak. From Gonzaga House, Jacob Reed Ackerman. Marshall Bryce Adams. Michael Francis Annunziata. Alexander Shea Beecher. Dante James Calvanesso. Shane Sircone. Owen Christopher Close. Zachary J. Krogan. Luke Edward Daigler. Brayden Philip Dunn. John Henry Etheridge. Anaf Fatin. Robert Ross Fogg, Jr. Ryan William Forsyth. Chaden San Giorgi in Sarah. Maxwell Owen Mathian. Emmett McNamara.
John L. Myers. Benjamin James Morse. William James Stott. John Ramon Whirl. From Jogue's House, Aidan Sebastian Amagon. Justin Bradley Ball. Brendan Sean Batchen. Lucian Robert Bodkin. Jack Gleason Freeman. Matthew James Franzak. Patrick Edward Gibbons II. Tristan James Gibb. Gavin Stephen Glappa. Chase Daniel Harbold. Evan Lawrence Healy. Evan David Isaac. Ashton A. Joseph. Nicholas William Kerwin. Colin Edward Lassinger. Alexander Stephen Mecca. Bosco Hong An Win. Eli Maxwell Noble. Eli Necker. Patrick Anthony O'Rourke. William Hunse O. Philip Nino Zafudo. From Loyola House, Maxwell James Barney. Jameson David Chalupka. Austin Andrew Connors. Connor Andrew Devins. Kenneth Elliott Jr. Peter Christopher Evangelos. Charles Thomas Gill. Joseph Patrick Golombieski, Jr. Jack Thomas Cruiser. Nolan Reynolds Leindecker. Kyle James McKellar. Alexander Michael Moad. Matthew Charles Maruza. Liam Gregory McCarty. Patrick Daniel Natina. Braden Bela Seduducati. Mason Michael Shirk. Colin Henry Smith. Jack Mylan Smith. 
Thomas John Vanner Jr. Jean-Ron Zhu. From Xavier House, Koch Francis Aqui. Michael Paul Anine. Evan Gilbert Applebaum. Luke David Applebaum. Dang Ake Dor. Rory Thomas O'Connor Dwyer. Luke Granto. Braden Joseph Grisbeck. Frank Casey LaForce. Nathaniel Patrick Leonard. Noah Eugene Lewis. Andrew Dante Rubino. Landon Talbot Schoenberger. Michael James Chimay. Shafi Shazad. Thomas Stouffer. Triton Alfonso Trevalli. Tommy Trin. Ryan James Zagoda. Stephen Wayne Zip the second. Ladies and gentlemen, the Canisius High School class of 2023. Please be seated. I now invite Mr. Coppola to offer remarks. To the class of 2023, I'd like to take you back to your first day here, to that first moment that you walked through the blue doors as a class, being clapped in by the faculty, staff, and upperclassmen. You walked into this very room. What you could not have known then is that Canisius is not a place that you come to, but instead it's a place that you go from. During your four years with us, you have worked hard, you have persevered, you have succeeded, and you've learned to fail. Now tonight, we celebrate all of your achievements. You will go into the world prepared as men who are loving, religious, 
intellectually competent, open to growth, and committed to working for justice. You will go into the world with skills to be successful in professional careers, but more, you will go into the world with an understanding that your best work is best when it's done for and with others. We are so grateful for the time that we have shared with you. We have celebrated and mourned together. We have grown and learned together. You have enriched our community and you will leave having made us better. This moment is truly bittersweet. You have become good men and the world needs good men. Please always remember to come home and share your joys and good work with us. Canisius is now the place you go from. Take all of what you have learned, all of how you have grown, and do well. I now call upon Father Sansomino to offer our benediction. Commencement marks a beginning and points to a future full of hope. And that bright future takes center stage now as we come before the God of our lives as a community of faith. So let us pray. God ever faithful and true, we give you thanks for family and friendships, teachers, counselors, and coaches, for gifts and talents beyond all telling. And we praise you for your goodness to us, all that we are, all that we have, all that you call us to be. Even now you look upon us with love and you fill us with grace and blessing. We ask you to draw us more deeply into the desires of our hearts for we know that it is there that we encounter your greatest desires for us. We ask this in your good and holy name, amen. Class of 2023, I ask you now to bow your heads and to ask for God's blessing. May God who began the good work in you carry it through to completion. May God give you the grace to make wise choices and to be confident in the support of those who love you. May God bless you with discomfort and easy answers so that you will live deep within your heart. May God bless you with anger at racism, injustice, and the exploitation of people so that you will work for justice, equality, and peace. May God bless you with tears to shed for those who suffer from pain, rejection, hunger, and war, so that you will reach out your hand to comfort them and gladden their hearts. May God bless you with the foolishness to think that you can make a difference in the world, so that you will do things which others tell you cannot be done. May your integrity be a gift to the world, and the Spirit of God abide with you always. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. St. Peter Canisius, pray for us. This concludes our program for this evening. I ask that everyone in the audience kindly remain in your place until the administration faculty and graduates have left the auditorium. Graduates will exit through the glass doors at the front of the building onto the front lawn of the school. Family and friends may exit the school through the blue doors to join the graduates outside. Thank you for being with us this evening for this, the 153rd commencement of Canisius High School.